darlings we have arrived at ikea here is producer martin coming i'm just gonna feed zeke i um they said that it was gonna be really child friendly and baby friendly but the truth is i don't know i couldn't find any mum and baby parking spaces even though it said there were loads so i'm parked in a regular space so let's see if ikea is baby friendly this is the first time in over a decade i've been to ikea Oh God, let me feed the baby and then come back to you. So we are entering Ikea. So just had a quick pit stop in the mum and baby bit to give Zeke a change and go for a toilet. I'm not gonna lie guys, it's pretty rank. I mean, this is the state of it. Absolutely rank. And this is where I've got to change my baby. Gross. I know, baby. Sorry, we're gonna change it now. So there's no baby trolleys, so we are having to be inventive because he doesn't want to sit in the pram. He wants to look out. So we've just tried to strap him in extra tight in this and hope that he doesn't fall. Oh, eek! Right, here we go. Let's do this. Back in the pram. Our paraphernalia is in the trolley. It didn't wasn't working for me. I was too worried. So let's go browsing. Oh, cute. Is that sage? No, probably stone. Oh, I'm feeling it though. Okay, so we're, we're getting there. Just, oh, just for a minute. Right, let's have a look at some of the stuff that I've got. It's very exciting. We've got some clothes rails. Oh, you can't really see very much. A random plate. <laughs> Some shoe, these are gonna be amazing, like shoe racky things. Four pounds, four. That's amazing. And the clothes rail, oh gosh. When we stop, he doesn't like it. The clothes rails, seven pounds. Seven pounds. Bargain. Oh, I'm so excited. Right, more, I want more. And I need sage. Think sage. Sage, trinket sage. Thoughts, sage vases. Go for sage. Now in the car, had to leave early because mummy lost his bottle and it's dinner time. I mean, I just lost his bottle. I don't know where I put it. I put it down and that was it. It was gone. So I'm now outside boots waiting for Martin to get a new bottle so that I can feed him and he can hopefully stop crying. <sighs> what a disaster of a trip. This has not been fun in any way, shape or form, actually. Darn it! I did get some good stuff, but I had to cut it short. And now my baby's screaming and my heart's been ripped out. So good morning darlings, it's another day, feeling a bit fresher and brighter today. I looked back at my <laughs> Ikea trip and I'm a little delirious. Um, sleep deprivation, it's a cow. Um, but I thought I would show you what I bought because that's the fun stuff. So here First it is. First of all, I bought three of these clothing rails. Um, just seven quid, cheap and cheerful, just to put some clothes up until I get some new wardrobes. And then we have a whole bag of goodies. So first of all, this amazing aloe vera plant. I'm obsessed with aloe vera anyway. Um, and I don't have any plants in my house. So I thought this would be a really nice addition to my home bring in some good vibes good energy and a really cute little stone plant pot then i got this wonderful vase um it's kind of like a smoked glass um really really pretty big for my table um where my display my flower display is gonna go it's gonna look beautiful um <laughs> I don't think any trip to Ikea is not 
quite complete without some dime bars. Yes, Stacey Solomon. Extra, extra large. Down for that. Um, I bought a whisk. One thing I don't have. <laughs> I got, oh, these for a high chair. So this is, it blows up and it's like an inflatable because he's not quite big enough to sit in a high chair by himself. So that's the inflatable part you blow up. And then this is like the nice cover that goes over the top to make it soft. They were like two quid. And then I bought these amazing bad boys, which I showed you in the shop. The Scoob, Scub, Scubbub, shoe storage, hanging it up of things. Um, so I can hang up some of my shoes on the storage hanger thingies and just try and start to clear some of my dressing room. Um, and I bought three of those and got myself a brand new Ikea bag. Love it. I was a little delirious yesterday, not gonna lie. Um, yeah, sleep deprivation is a bitch. But overall, a really successful trip. And you just can't argue with IKEA quality. You definitely can't argue with their prices. Um, I paid full price for everything, FYI. Um, and I will be going back because there was a few bigger things that I wanted that with Zeke Screaming I couldn't buy. Um, I saw a beautiful bookcase and um, some wonderful shelves and storage. So yeah, um, all in all not baby friendly do not go as a parent by yourself with a baby but definitely the quality the price um and just the fun inspirational things you know walking through the little setups of the houses and the bedrooms and stuff gives you lots of great home inspo so yeah i'm definitely not going to leave it another decade before i go for another trip because it's pretty fab <laughs>